Welcome back to Corsair Helicopter Flight Training. Uh, today we're looking at the main rotor gearbox assembly that's fitted to our EC-130 helicopter. So in the bay at the moment we've got our Ariel 2 gas turbine engine and main rotor gearbox in for overhaul as a part of our 12 yearly inspection. We're going to have a bit of a talk about the reduction process from our engine output to our main rotor drive. Now this gas turbine engine uh, provides an output of about 6,000 RPM. Now due to structural and aerodynamic limitations of our main rotor system, we must reduce that RPM and create torque for our main rotor system. Now if I come forward here, we've got our main rotor gearbox drive shaft that comes from our engine. Now this drive shaft will still rotate at 6,000 RPM onto the front side of our engine and mate with our gearbox input down on the front side or back side of our main rotor gearbox here. Now this RPM will still be 6,000 RPM at this input. But from there it goes through a first stage uh, reduction of our main bevel gear assembly which is located in the bottom side of our gearbox. Now from that first reduction, the drive is transferred vertically up to our sun gear up here and transferred and reduced through our planetary gear system or epicyclic gear system. We'll go up to the bench now and have a look at those planet gears. So the planetary reduction system or epicyclic uh, gear reduction system is very popular in the automotive industry. A lot of automatic transmissions and differentials utilize the epicyclic gear reduction system. Now we've sat the planet gears inside the ring gear here to give you a bit more of a demonstration of how it actually operates. So in the gearbox assembly, our ring gear will remain stationary. The sun gear will provide drive up to our planet gears. Now these planet gears will rotate around our ring gear and that's where the reduction of RPM takes place. As we said before, the carrier will transfer drive to our main rotor mast at 386 RPM. So in summary, the power produced by our gas turbine engine with that output of 6,000 RPM is reduced through our gearbox assembly, through our epicyclic gear reduction and transferred to our main rotor system at 386 RPM. Now thanks for watching again guys, we've had some really great feedback from these videos. Uh, continue to uh, share and like these posts and if there's anything you would like to see from the team here at Corsair Helicopter Flight Training, leave a comment in the section below. See you next week.